Young Talk of the Day, Unpopular Opinion. I'm your host, Uncle KG, and this is Young Talk. Well, the opinion may be unpopular, but the conversation is necessary. I want to thank you for joining me today. So, today, let's talk about closure a little bit. Closure. And when I say closure, I mean closure from a, a bad breakup, you know, um, closure from uh, a friendship that is no longer, you know, active, um, closure from a place of employment, whatever it might be. Let's talk about closure. And if it's really necessary. Is closure really necessary? I just want that to just sink in. I want that question to just marinate in your mind for a second. Is closure really necessary? So, I pose that question to you because what do we really get from closure? What do we really get from closure? You might get more of an understanding, maybe. Or... You could also get these feelings that's, you know, lingering, that make it harder to shake. Right? Closure, I'm gonna be I'm gonna just be straight up with y'all. Okay? Be straight up with you. Closure is not necessary. And I say it's not necessary because you're gonna find a way to move on. You're gonna find a way to continue to move on and keep living life and advancing. A lot of times we crave closure from a situation that's no longer because we just want to know why. why. Why did he do me like this? Why did she do me like that? Why would they do that to me? And I've asked my, myself them same questions before. Believe me, I get it. I totally get it. However, you cannot count on closure or somebody answering those questions that you don't have the answers to to move on. You cannot require that to move on. You got to find a way to move on regardless. You won't know the answers to everything. Newsflash. Some people don't even understand why they did some of the things that they did to you. They can't even tell you. And oftentimes because we want that last conversation we want closure. We put ourselves in a trick bag. That makes it harder for us to let go at times. It makes that person feel uncomfortable and awkward. Because they don't want to continue this, this relationship that y'all had anyway. But you done guilt to them and just have one last conversation, one last talk. That's not necessary, man. You don't do nothing but delay your healing process when you require closure to move on. I'm going to say it again. You don't do anything but delay your healing process when you require closure to move on. Sometimes just dead it. Just dead that situation. Now, of course, you got exceptions to the rule, right? You have to come to some sort of agreement if you still have to deal with this person in some sort of capacity. For example, if you got children together. If you got children together, you have to find a way to make peace. And closure at that point in time may not necessarily be a bad thing because you have to continue some sort of relationship due to you guys having children together. But for the ones who don't have any anything like concrete as far as children or 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 or, or business assets. Whatever it is, if, if, if you and this person break it off, whether it's a, a romantic relationship or whether it's a friendship, whatever type of relationship it is, if you guys don't have any more ties or connections to each other, just be done with the situation. Now, don't get me wrong. If you wrong somebody, done something to someone, and you want to apologize for it, and you know things are completely squashed, like this relationship is no longer, hey, I'm a messed up individual. I'm sorry that I did that to you. You didn't deserve that. I was wrong for that. This is why I did it, or I don't even know why I did it. 
But for the ones of us that feel like we need the closure, you got to come to grips with that you may never get that. You may never get that. Now, anytime you see this person, you feel a way. Anytime they pop up, you feel a way. No, man, sometimes it just it just didn't work out. And y'all might both be great people, just not great together. Y'all got together to learn from each other. Y'all got together to be stepping stones for one another, as crazy as that, as that may sound. Stop requiring closure to advance. You don't do nothing but delay your healing process when you require that. Unless you're trying to rekindle something, rekindle a, a, a romantic relationship or a friendship, whatever it is, unless you're trying to re rekindle, fix this. Closure is not necessary. It's not necessary. Stop requiring that to just move on with your life. It hurt, man. It's painful. We all have been there. You might be like, man, I am a, I, I did this, I did that, I did everything for this person, and they still find a way to hurt me. Because you wasn't their person. They were only there to be a lesson for you. That was it. They were only there to be a, an experience for you. That's part of your story. You got to find a way to move on. You got to find a way to move on without requiring that last talk. What is that going to really do? They hurt you. They cheated on you. Why'd you do that to me? You That hurt me. I don't know why I did it. I did it just just because. I got caught up in the moment. Yeah, you didn't deserve it. I can't even explain it. What, what, what you going to get from that? Uh, you just want an understanding of why your feelings are hurt? It's going to hurt regardless, regardless of the answer that they give you. You're not going to be like, okay, well, that makes sense. No, man, your feelings hurt. They hurt you. Y'all broke it off. They, 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 they cheated on you. They stole from you. They messed around with your significant other. Things happen, man, and I'm not excusing that behavior whatsoever. I want to be clear. I'm not excusing that behavior whatsoever, but I am saying... Move on. It's life. Life ain't fair, man. Life is not fair. And who knows the type of karma they going to get for hurting you. You never know. You never know. So stop sitting back requiring closure as a step in your healing process. You might not get an apology. You might not get clarification on why somebody is the way that they are. They don't even understand themselves. Do you understand that? Some people don't even understand themselves, but you want them to explain their actions. They don't, they don't know how to do that. They don't even know who they are. So how are they going to explain what they did? Come to grips with that. You're going to be just fine. I need to meet up for closure. I need to talk to them for closure. Man, the hell with all that, man. Remember who you are. You done survived some, some tough times before, I'm sure. This ain't going to be no different. This not going to be no different. Remember who you are. Remember what you survived. Remember when you was at your lowest. And you still standing. I ain't saying it ain't going to be hard to get over. I ain't saying that. I'm not saying that. But I am saying you don't need no closure. You don't need no closure. If they give it to you, okay. It still hurt, don't it? Y'all not rekindling nothing, so who's the point? And don't get it twisted. I'm not saying end on bad terms. I'm not saying that if you if, if this person want to apologize and you want to accept it or and and, and y'all want to have, uh, you know, a, both apologize to each other. That's different because we moving on, but we just making peace. But 
if if it's no bad blood and it's just over with, man, let it rock. Just let it rock. You're going to be all right, man. Closure. It ain't necessary. Not for all cases or all situations. That's all I got for y'all today, man. It's Untalk of the Day, Unpopular Opinion. I'm your host, Uncle KG. This is Untalk, where the opinion may be unpopular, but the conversation is necessary. Till next time. Peace.